Morning. Hey everybody, this is Birch. Uh, here's what, let's see what we got here. Marvel art is killing the children. Okay, I'm game. Let's read this one. It says, Dear Arby's own very own Doctor Doom. Uh, okay, Arby's is the Doctor Doom, or maybe better, uh, more, more appropriately named the Parasite. Um, I am the Captain America, uh, the Superman in this scenario. Let's, let's not kid ourselves. Arby's is the Lex Luthor. <laughs> Anyway, uh, how are you doing, Perch? Uh, how's Texas treating you? Uh, yeah. I was mulling uh, something all about over art styles. Do you think that it's somewhat possible that hyper-realistic art can drive away customers, such as the art of David Fitch, Mike Diodato Jr., and Brian Hitch? I, can't, I In some cases, I do. Maybe not the names you mentioned. Uh, although Teodato uh, draws the uh, the most amazing Namor, Namor uh, that is not used in uh, posters, but anyway, uh, I love it. Back to the mail. I love it, but it does seem to have an unapproachable quality to it. Like heavy metal, it has an edge that steers people away. It definitely doesn't speak to kids, but it's possible it doesn't appeal to the wider gen pop either, general population. I must say that David Finch is probably one of my favorite comic book artists. So is EBS. But if I showed someone a Finch book, versus a Darwin cookbook, which looks more accessible in my opinion, I think they'll be more inclined to get the cook. Probably true. Um, might also be the reason that manga took over since it is very simplified and stylized. Uh, that is true. I mean, manga appeals to kids for sure for a lot of this reason. Um, it is, that art style definitely, definitely has a, a positive impact in terms of pulling people in, no doubt about it. Also, I do notice a trend line of comics getting darker and grittier and more people leaving. I don't know. I don't think, I don't know. I don't think people like seeing Batman deal with the rape of his comrade's wife by a guy in spandex named Dr. Light. It was a while ago, but, but yeah, that's true. Maybe I'm looking too deeply into it, but Dogman is selling millions. So there's that. Stay healthy. Eat more Arby's. Right. That, those, that, that, that last, that, that sentence is a, is a paradox, complete and absolute paradox. Um, Realistic art style. So I, I love the artists you mentioned. Um, I think that they, it, but it is, it is true that, you know, the, if you take Brian Hitch, for example, um, Brian Hitch in the comic shop always appealed more to older, you know, buyers. No doubt about that. Always. Um, kids tended to like more stylized uh, creators. Um, and, and, but that, it does, it doesn't just go for hyper realism. I mean, Chris Bocklow, who's probably easily in the top five, uh, artists for me by, by a, by a mile. Um, a lot of kids struggle with his art as well. Um, it just, you know, too sharp, too gritty, too, just, just whatever it is, not gritty. It's not the right, but in, you know, his art, it's just, if you put, uh, Chris Bocklow up against, you know, the Dodson's, uh, or, you know, Art Adams, or uh, John Byrne, um, you know, or Darwin Cook, for sure. Uh, you know, the, the younger audience is absolutely going to go for, you know, that those later, the, you know, those artists. Um, Frank Miller is going to have a lot less appeal to, to a younger audience. Now, you know, it's not just about a younger audience, and obviously, you know, people like uh, Frank Miller have sold, and Chris Bacalow have sold tons and tons of work. You know, Bill Sienkiewicz, tons of things. Um, Brian Hitch, yeah. I, I think they, they've, they've sold lots and lots of comics. Uh, but as an entry point, as kids getting into comics, you know, yeah, there, there is a reason that Dogman, which is hyper, hyper simple, does well. Um, he, there, no doubt about it. And, and the art simplicity is a big reason why. Um, I think that, you know, in part of it, maybe you can, you can argue that it's just comics in general. It's kind of maybe where you're getting with the, the darker, uh, comment comics in general do a really bad, uh, have a bad way of pulling in the general population, not just because of whether it's, uh, got, you know, this political storyline or that political storyline. It's just, it's, it's dense and difficult 
for readers to get into it or even want to get into it. Um, you know, if, if you're, uh, if you're a new comic reader, brand new comic reader, haven't read read comics before, I would never recommend that you start with Watchmen. And a lot of people do. I, typically, the, uh, you know, when people would come into the shop and they're like, I'm interested in comics, you know, there's some movies out there and I'm interested in that. And I, I just, you know, I want to get into comics. In many cases, they would come in wanting Watchmen, Dark Knight Returns, um, Saga. Uh, just they, they would want stuff like that. Uh, v for Vendetta was another. Basically, a movie comes out that's based on a comic book, and it's a dark and gritty kind of movie. And so people would come in and be like, yeah, graphic novels are not just for kids. I'm interested in one. But almost every time when they would come in wanting, say, Watchmen, I would know that I'm selling... Uh, you know, a graphic novel. I'm selling a book to a customer that I probably won't ever see again. They they tend to, you know, buy that one book and they don't become collectors. They don't attach themselves into, you know, into into the rest of comics. Whereas people who come in who want to start up with comics and get, you know, a first volume of Fantastic Four or you know a Justice League, International Omnibus or something. Like that, the people who are, who are starting kind of in those places, they tend to come back and, and become, you know, lifelong customers. They tend to buy month after month. I think that if you start with something that's darker, that's grittier, that's a one-off that, you know, has a different art style, you're not, you know, this is just my theory. I'm, I'm saying this is, you know, somebody who's sold a ton of comics over the years and is trying to kind of put together why people do what they do. Um, it, there's a, there's a correlation there. I think that overall, um, comic books, uh, they need that friendly, easy, engage, easy, you know, come to the table, um, you know, selling point. They need that, that, that simple buying proposition and art is a big piece of it. And then, and yet, like you say, you know, not, not super heavy tones, you know, definitely people, I think they get excited and they work into things like, you know, bullseye is going to kill Electra or, you know, Dr. Light's going to you know, rape one of you know, Batman's teammates, wife. Uh, or, you know, stuff like, I, nobody liked that second one, but I mean, you know, people will work their way into it, but as a starting point, they don't, you know, nobody wants to begin, uh, with identity crisis. You know, very few people want to begin their comic journey with, you know, be for vendetta or, uh, you know, sins past. Can you imagine uh, a comic collector, comic buyer, some, somebody, Spider-Man fan who's, uh, you know, they're, they're beginning their comic journey with, you know, sins past. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, uh, anyway, n- nobody's going to do that. I mean, hell, even, uh, you know, one more day, I uh, got some media coverage about being the comic that ended this, uh, you know, was going to end Spider-Man's marriage. And I guarantee you there were no long-term comic customers who started buying comics and stuck with comics after reading that story. As an entry point, nobody nobody wants that. So I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I think the more realistic, the more gritty art style certainly is tougher for uh, for new readers. I think they they tend to steer away from it. Um, not always. I mean, art is a funny thing. It just what what you know what kind of art appeals to you is extremely you know subjective, and things just hit hit people in different ways. And that's one of the kind of, quite frankly, it's one of the magical parts of comics is that, you know, you, you can have 10 people and you can have 10 art styles and you get very different approaches. But, uh, but anyway, great question. Thank you for asking it much appreciated. And, uh, I'm curious to what the rest of you think. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below and thanks for listening.